Just, there's this light coming across. And no, I appreciate that. It's probably comfort. good light. There's one moment in the Depp vs. Heard case I really got to talk about because I really love Camille Vasquez's response to what happened here. I think it's exactly what I would say and exactly what a lot of people are thinking. So after she finally gets Amber to admit that she hasn't been able to donate the money yet, this white light shines in and she's pretty much glowing. But what she says is, and you can see the big smile on her face and the big smile on Ben Chu's face is, it's a good light. Almost as if she's beat the demon and the heavenly light is shining down upon her. So let's take a look at this and let's see what happened just before that. And you hadn't yet been sued by Mr. Depp. This is uh, October, correct. So in this October 2018 interview, you said that you had, quote, donated, end quote, your entire divorce settlement to charity, right? That's correct. And in fact, your exact words were, quote, seven million in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, end quote. That's, right? that's correct. I made that statement as soon as I got a divorce and we reached the settlement. That's when I pledged it right then. And you say this because you, quote, wanted nothing, end quote. That is correct. But you hadn't donated your entire, entire $7 million settlement to charity at that point, had you? That's incorrect. Sitting here today, Ms. Hurd, you still haven't donated the $7 million dollars divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Incorrect. I pledged the entirety no, of Ms. the settlement, Heard, 7 million to question. charity, and I, I Heard, intend to Ms. fulfill Heard, those obligations. Heard, that's not my question. Please what try was your to question? answer my question. Sitting here today, you have not donated the $7 million, donated, not pledged, donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. I use pledge and donation synonymous with one another. They but the I don't, same thing. Ms. Heard. I don't use it synonymously. That's how donations are paid. Ms. Heard, respectfully, that's not my question. And the thing to remember is it's not just Camille who doesn't use it synonymously. It's pretty much the entire world. I mean, I get what Amber is saying, okay? She's saying that she pledged it meaning the intention was there, meaning some people take that as it being paid. However, it's not actually paid. It's a sign it's going to be paid. It's an assumption it's going to be paid because a lot of times it is paid, but not always. And in this case, it wasn't paid. And in this case, it really counts. It's not just you telling somebody, yeah, I'm going to pay it or I've got this thing coming. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Not talking maybes here. We're talking it wasn't paid. It was a lie. And we know it. As of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the ACLU. Yes or no? I have not yet. And as of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Correct? I have not yet. Johnny sued me. So as of today, you have not donated paid seven million dollars of your divorce settlement to charity right i have not been able to fulfill those uh, those uh, obligations yet and that's because you did want something didn't you i didn't want anything and i didn't get anything you wanted mr Duff's money you wanted to remind everyone of your claims of domestic violence against mr Depp, right no i wanted to move on with my life you wanted to make those claims seem believable Okay, so to be as fair as I possibly can, I understand what Amber's saying. You do say, I bought a house, meaning you're paying it off. But that doesn't mean people don't buy houses in one shot, by the way. It can be done. It's not something you say that's 100%. It's something you say with an assumption. And again, we're not talking about assumptions here. We're talking about if it was actually paid, and it wasn't. So kind of a language trick she's trying to pull here. And when we're talking about not giving millions to sick kids in a hospital, language tricks are not exactly the best look for you. 
And by the way, the timing of the light actually comes in right when Camille's kind of taking a break, looking through some papers, after Amber has had a chance to give her very faulty, unbelievable testimony. For 13 months before Mr. Depp sued you and you chose not to pay it to the charities, you pledged it to. Is that I, correct, Mr. I disagree with your characterization of that. Let's look at your sworn testimony from the UK. Now it's peaking in a little bit when the UK comes up. Now she takes a break for the papers and it's there pretty much in full. All right, yes ma'am. Thank you. Ms. Vasquez, do you want me to close the shades? That would be okay. <laughs> Just, there's just light coming across. And so I appreciate that. It's probably welcome. good light. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. All right. Well, that's it. That's the whole moment in context there, what I'm talking about. And she said, I appreciate the light, which definitely shows a good sense of character. Because I was thinking the same thing. She could have been, eh, it's annoying. It's in my eye, that kind of thing. But no, it's positive. It's a sign just at the right timing. You guys, of course, let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm doing Depp vs. Heard, celebrity news, stuff like that. Consider subscribing here. If you don't subscribe, I guess I'll be pretty sad about it. But I'll get over it, make a new video, something like that. Done here for now. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.